My name is Sue Henderson, Executive Director of Stafford Museum and Cultural Center. The Stafford Museum and Cultural Center set out a few years ago to make sure that we were impacting and bringing history to every student in the region, to every district in the region. And one of the ways to do that was to maybe work with uh, the mural project, which we're excited that has really taken off um, in various schools. We were aware that there were murals in schools um, previously uh, based on history. But we also thought that we could maybe make sure that every school had an opportunity to participate. My name is Bridget Obang. I coordinate the out-of-school time programs for Stafford County. Uh, I used to teach art at this building, Conway Elementary School. What inspired this piece was we really wanted to work with this phrase, you belong here, because we felt that was really important to reiterate for our students. We've got a really large, diverse population that we wanted to honor, um, so we did that in a couple ways. One was by uh, looking at where our kids live today, um, what parts of Stafford County communities that they occupy. And then the other thing that we wanted to include was the countries that they come from. So we wanted to celebrate their heritage and really emphasize that you belong here not in spite of where you come from or not in spite of where you live, um, but with all of it. And you as a whole person and everything that you bring belongs here in Stafford County Public Schools. We included that through the Rappahannock River running through here. We know that like really connects our community. Um, so we used a lot of the tributaries to kind of connect the different communities and also the outlines of the countries around the mural. We also wanted to um, include our students in a more visual way. So we really focused on making a lot of different looking students, really focusing on the hair, uh, because at the elementary level in particular, the hair is really important to students and they're really excited about their hairstyle. So that's what you'll see is different for every student here. I'm Stephanie Johnson and I am the president of the Stafford Education Foundation. When the foundation was first approached by the Stafford Museum and Cultural Center, we couldn't think of a better way to bring each school a historical base. Each of our schools have incredible stories behind the property that they sit on, the people that they're named for, and that's a lot of what the foundation does. We support our schools, we support our teachers and our kids, and part of what the kids need is to learn about the roots of their school. I'm Gabriel Pons. Uh, I'm an artist and gallery owner of Pawn Shop Studio. Yeah, Widewater was the, the mural that I worked on in conjunction with the art instructor, Courtney Hupman. She, in fact, brought me on board and was basically my source for all the inspiration and information about what the mural was to be. The mural itself is kind of like a two-dimensional diorama of that area. Plenty of historical references throughout from its relationship to Native Americans. Robert Langley, who performed his test flights, to Margaret Brent, as well as one of the uh, kind of renowned artists, Palmer Hayden, of course, Government Island, that's special, as well as all these kind of historical figures. The students would have to kind of do their homework to recognize uh, some of the elements. The benefit that the Stafford Museum grant has on the schools, in a sense, it turns the idea of a museum kind of inside out. A museum is, is a place that you'd go to to have all these kind of artifacts encapsulated and you experience it and then you leave. But in this case, the museum is asking kind of us, the artists, as well as I guess the schools, take that example and flip it, where all of a sudden there's all these satellite installations happening in Stafford schools and to me that's exciting because history really shouldn't be kind of compartmentalized by placing it as these kind of seeds throughout. My hope is that the students themselves would find that history is something actually that's not static that you look back into, into the past but it's fluid and it's happening right before our eyes. Mm -hmm.